good morning everyone uh, this is karthik today i'll talk about mining reforms and its implications on indian economy so in this parliament session we have just passed uh, mine mines and minerals development bill mmdr act it has a lot of amendments over an original bill which was passed in 1957 so since then that law has not been renewed because mining is a very political business and mining became one of the most controlled sectors of india during indira gandhi's tenure as part of nationalization drive India is not particularly well endowed with a lot of minerals, as the minerals which we have is low value in nature, like coal, asbestos, mica, etc. And mining in India, if you see, mining in India contributes only 1.75 percent of GDP, compared to the other countries like South Africa, 7 percent of GDP, Australia, and also 7 percent of GDP. If we, despite uh, despite having the uh, fourth largest storehouse of uh, coal resource in the world. Uh, India has only produced 326,000 million tons of coal resource. So today, the coal that India produces is worth 1,25,000 crores. And despite having fourth largest storehouses of coal resource in the world, we are importing 2.5 worth crores worth of coal. So our coal imports are twice as much as the value of the coal we produce. So India's mining, if so, we can say that India's mining wealth is underexplored, underexploited. and is also under perform if you see why the main reasons was because of the existing laws pertaining to the mining sector so you, some of them are even if you extract anything extra from the given quota government could cancel your entire mining lease or bring it to a standstill so it's a lot of power uh, coal uh, mining sector is a lot of power with many levels of bureaucracy because of this there has been so much corruption and also one of the biggest scandals in india that is coal mining allocation scheme is a perfect reflection of this even after allocation there were limitations to how much they could extract and they had to use all of it for captive power plants and they could not sell surplus coal or iron ore etc so th- this leads to there was no incentive to produce more so how this new law which was pro- which was passed recently addresses some of the key issues here first of all Uh, once you got the clearances even if you sell the mines the other person or the buyer carries on with the clearances as they were and then into uh, he doesn't uh, he doesn't have to seek fresh clearances after buying a after buying a mine uh, so uh, the, this will uh, this will reduce the the repetitive time uh, time for uh, re uh, for for uh, again uh, going for re clearances and all and also second one is the restriction on end user minerals for captive plants is removed so the new law has enabled captive mines to sell up to 50% of their annual production in open markets so this provides an incentive for captive mining leases to produce more as compared to the previous where they need to use all of it for captive plants and third one is the new law discourages discourages people from holding mines if you see after taking a mining lease one has to start producing within the 3 years if you see the today out of 2904 mining leases uh, 1999 that is two thirds are lying under unused and uh, unexploited so because of this new law discouraging people from holding mines uh, this now will be freed up and one more is the permission for producing minerals will come rolled in 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 uh, will come rolled in with uh, with exploration license so this leads to seamless exploration cycle before they need to apply for uh, exploration license after exploration and again they need to go for a license for producing minerals so that reduces the incentive for for, for the companies to uh, to to spend on exploration cycles now the other one is uh, the center may auction mines if state governments fail to do so in a given time so if you see that uh, out of the 143 mines listed for auctioning states have auctioned only 7 since 2015 so because of this law the central government will auction the mines if state governments fails to do so so this will free up the unused ones lying in lying with the state governments so these these are the few of the reforms which was passed in the recent parliament session so these reforms uh, are, are a positive step and one more one one more thing is the reforms are as good as the intention to do so so thank you